Meghan Markle has already planned her schedule after her maternity leave ends, including one event very close to her heart. Meghan, 37 is now on maternity leave and is taking some much-needed time off her busy schedule, with her baby due in just a few weeks' time. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are expecting their first child around the end of April to beginning of May, and are preparing for the arrival of their newborn. However, the busy Duchess is already planning ahead and has booked a series of events to attend when her maternity leave ends. Meghan will be attending the annual Summit for One Young World in October, a non-profit organization that gathers young leaders from around the world to discuss important issues. A royal source told Vanity Fair. Harry is keen to support Meghan in developing her own role and the opportunity to partner with a cause so close to her heart is an ideal stepping stone. All being well with the baby, the timing is perfect for her to expand her Commonwealth work through this new One Young World partnership with the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. Meanwhile, Meghan and Harry are facing major delays with renovation works in Frogmore Cottage, meaning they may move in just days before the Duchess due date. Because of last-minute design changes, the Duke and Duchess could wait up to four weeks before they can officially move into their new residence. Workmen are still on site continuing building works on the Grade 2 listed property, which is set to include a nursery, a yoga studio and enough space for a live-in nanny. A royal source told The Sun, it's been all hands to the pump. The builders have worked all week whatever the weather. But they keep making changes, particularly on the layout. The word is they've been quite demanding, which is understandable as what homeowner doesn't want their house to be perfect. Meghan and Harry have already moved out of Kensington Palace and are reportedly residing in an apartment at Buckingham Palace. The Duchess is expected to give birth at the Lindo Wing of St. Mary's Hospital in London like her sister-in-law, Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge amid speculations she would opt for American-owned hospital the Portland. A royal source told Evening Standard, Having weighed up the options, and in acknowledgement of its place in royal tradition, they consider it the superior choice. Meghan is said to be very careful about the food she eats and products she uses, and may skip on bottled food options for her newborn and instead make her own at home. A friend told People magazine, she's being mindful of what she puts in her body and on her skin and even her at-home cleaning supplies. She's hyper-aware of what she's using. She's looking for natural things. She eats cleaner, and she'll probably make her own baby food. It's going to be clean living for this baby.